the booklet which you have, Praise and Prayer for All. Let us worship God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Our first hymn this morning is hymn number 522, To God Be the Glory, 522. say together the prayer on page three. Lord, direct our thoughts and teach us to pray. Lift up our hearts to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. There may be times during this last week that you have felt ashamed of maybe what you have done or said or things that you have been unable to say. So we come before God in penitence. God shows his love for us in that while we were all sinners, Christ died for us. Let us then show our love for him by confessing our sins in penitence and faith. Please sit or kneel. We say together, 
God our Father, we come to you in sorrow for our sins, for turning away from you and ignoring your will for our lives. Father, forgive us, save us and help us. For behaving just as we wish without thinking of you, Father, forgive us, save us and help us. For failing you by what we do and think and say, forgive us, save us and help us. For letting ourselves be drawn away from you by temptations in the world around us, Father, forgive us, save us and help us. For living as if we were ashamed to belong to your Son, Father, forgive us, save us and help us. May the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins, heal and strengthen us by his Spirit, and assure us of his eternal love, and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. There is no end to his greatness. One generation shall praise your works to another, and shall declare your power. All your works praise you, Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom, and speak of your power. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord. Let us bless his holy name for ever and ever. Our second hymn this morning is hymn number 499. There is a green hill far away. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians, Philippians 3, verses 4 to 14. If anyone has reason to be confident in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day, a member of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew born of Hebrews, 
as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. Yet whatever gains I had, these I have come to regard as loss because of Christ. More than that, I regard everything as loss because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things, and I regard them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him. Not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but one that comes through faith in Christ. The righteousness from God based on faith. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his sufferings by becoming like him in his death, if somehow I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained this or have already reached the goal, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Beloved, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but this one thing I do. Forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on towards the goal for the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our second reading today is a reading from John's Gospel, chapter 12, verses 1 to 8. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for three hundred denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Because of the APCM, you've got off from without having a sermon this morning, so we will move into our affirmation of faith. Please stand. We believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist. We believe and trust in God the Son, who died our human nature, died for us and rose again. We believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world. This is the faith of the Church. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our third hymn this morning is hymn number 310, Lord for the Years.
please sit or kneel for our time of intercession. The Collect for the Fifth Sunday of Lent. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, as we bring you our prayers of intercession, we ask you to open our ears to hear your voice, open our eyes to behold your glory, open our hearts to receive your grace, open our lips to show forth your praise. Lord, you come to meet us long before we search for you. May your church, where you have promised to be present if two or three are gathered together, be a gateway to encountering you. Sometimes this may be through the glories of the music and the spoken word. Sometimes it may be in the silences in between. And may we in turn show forth your love to those we encounter. We pray for your church today gathering all around the world in tiny churches and great cathedrals to praise you and to hear your holy word. Give us a sense of expectation as we come and inspiration as we go. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we give you thanks for the blessings of our country and for the freedoms we enjoy. But Lord, we ask you to speak to our chaos, that we may breathe with your life and share your creation. Inspire us with your strength, that we may draw from it the courage to stand up for justice and peace in the world. And help us to bring in your kingdom of truth and liberty here on earth. We pray for our Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth, in her 70th year on the throne, and we ask that you may continue to bless her with strength and courage, with good humour and a strong faith in you. We ask that you give her ministers health and strength, wisdom and courage, so that they may carry out their duties in the best interests of all people and in accordance with your will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, where winter has reigned, let spring break out. Where hearts are gripped in ice, may your sun rise with healing wings. Lord, embrace the orphan in each of us. Welcome the widow that we are. A strangers shelter us. Let us learn to be your neighbour and be loved. Link us to life through you. And Lord, we pray for our families, for those that are growing up, that they may increase in wisdom and love, for those facing changes, that they may meet them with hope, for those that are weak, that they may find strength, for those with heavy burdens, that they may carry them lightly. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, 
take us to yourself, we who hurt so much in the depths of our being, we are caught up in the pain of life, and yet so often inflict pain in our turn on others. Embrace us with the hands that show the mark of the nails, your love swallowing up all our sin and pride. So, that, so we pray that our broken bones may heal as we join in the cosmic dance of the Lord of Life, who embodies your power to redeem and make all things whole. You show yourselves to those that are vulnerable and make your home with the poor and the weak of this world. We pray that you will protect the healthy, calm the frightened, Give courage to those in pain. Strengthen those who care for the sick. And from our own congregation, we pray for David Challoner, for Joyce Newey, for Reet Gwillem, for John Hill, for Jackie Inska, for Molly Smith, for Sheila Homer, for Wendy Hill, for Danielle Gawley, for Ray Cole, for Chantel and Evelyn and Rebecca, Wendy and Jermaine, for Philip Stone, for Ken Bradley, for Brenda Poole, for Helen, who is currently in ITU on full support in organ failure and clinging on to life. Desperate for a liver transplant, but too unwell to receive. Grant them your comfort, Lord, your loving arms around them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in the Ukraine. Lord, we cannot imagine the destruction, the hopelessness, the fear that they feel at this time. Lord, help us to do whatever we can to support, to give them succour. Lord, we are one as your people, no matter where we live. We are one in Christ Jesus. Help us to be good neighbours, wherever our neighbours are. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, you come to meet us in your cross and resurrection. We remember all those whom we knew and have joined the great cycle of life and death. Especially this day we remember Matt and Alan Smith and Marie Holden. Draw them to yourself that they may be lifted up into eternal life. Console the bereaved and comfort the dying and give to the dead eternal life. May those who have died rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as we delight in the rich variety of your creation, we offer you our lives and as we go out today, we pray that in our dealings with others that we may always remember the words of your Son, Jesus. A new commandment I give you, to love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another.
Let us bless one another by saying the words of the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Please stand for the peace. We are all one in Christ Jesus. We belong to him through faith, heirs of the promise of the spirit of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Don't forget the organist. Our next hymn is hymn number 303, but it's quite long, so we're not going to do all the verses. We're going to do verses 1 to 4, and then 10 and 11. So 303, lift high the cross, verses 1 to 4, and 10 and 11.
we say the prayer at the top of page 8. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our hearts, and a hope to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all in the power of your Holy Spirit, and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. May the rains fall softly upon your fields. Until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of his hand. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit rest upon each one of us this day and forevermore. Amen. Please be seated for our notices. Bits of paper. Let's do the official bit first, which is to read Bands of Marriage. I publish the bans of marriage between Nathan Andre John Cole, single of the parish of St. John's Dudley Wood, and Rebecca Jane John, also single of the parish of St. Andrew's Netherton. If any of you know cause or just impediment why these two persons should not be joined together in holy matrimony, ye are to declare it. This is for the second time of asking. Oh, good. Let's give a, a short prayer for Nathan and Rebecca. Lord, the holy state of matrimony is one that is not entered into lightly. But, Lord, we pray that you will be with Nathan and Rebecca as they prepare for this day, that you will remain with them as they journey together through life's trials, through the ups and downs of marriage. Lord, let them rest in you. Amen. Where should we start? Right. Well, we've had the APCM, so we can forget that one. The walk next Saturday morning. The menus are at the back on the table to the right there by the service hatch. If you would take one away with you if you are coming, either on the walk or just coming for the meal, and then send in your order to me, please. And in the afternoon of the same day, either 3 or 3.30, we're having a wonderful craft-making opportunity with palm crosses. So if you want to know how to make a palm cross, because I'm sure it's a burning thing for you, um, please come along, if I can remember how to do it. Richard's buying cake. Oh, Richard's buying cake. There's an incentive. Excellent. <laughs> and Sue will make tea. Very excellent. Crucifixion is on Wednesday of Holy Week, that's the 13th of April. If you want to join the choir, then please be here for practice at 6. If you want to come along and enjoy the um, rendition of that sacred choral work, then be here for 7.30. Also during Holy Week, on Maundy Thursday, which is the 14th of April, there is a service and meal led by Richard at St. John's Dudley Wood. It's a seven o'clock start. Uh, please let Richard or Joe know if you're going to attend for catering purposes. Have I forgotten anything? Does anybody want to remind me of anything I've forgotten? 
Mother's Union is on Monday in the upper... No, in the, sm in the snug, not in the upper room. In the snug at Pardo's pub. There's an incentive. Sorry? Oh, Val Cope, who's an LLM from St John's, is going to be doing the talk. I know of one birthday because he announced it last week. <laughs> Brian, that was yesterday. It was the 2nd of April, wasn't it? You forgot about it, okay. So anyone else owning up to a birthday, either today, yesterday, or during the coming week? No. Okay, so we'll sing to Brian then. Yes. Um, just as a gentle reminder, PCC members meeting in the children's room at the back of church after service. Thank you very much. We, fi we finish our service this morning with hymn number 380, O Lord my God. <laughs>
in peace to love and serve the Lord. We go into the world to walk in God's light, to rejoice in God's love, and to reflect God's glory. Amen. Thank you.